Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over Gold Miners Jr. ETF ticker symbol GDXJ. Today we will go over the probability model and we'll go over the day by day forecast model for Gold Miners Jr. So back to the technical analysis. What we have here is we are up 3.5% on the one hour chart. We are touching over bought RSI. The one hour MACD is now positive. As for the 4-hour chart, we are also overbought on the RSI, and the 4-hour MACD is also positive as well. If we expand out to the daily chart, we broke a nice resistance that dated back all the way to September 24th, and we managed to, if we close above it today, when we have about 30 minutes left in trading, I do see us closing above that range. So we did break a nice resistance point, which is around the price of $40. And this price range was acting as resistance all the way back in September. So that is a nice reversal, what we see here. So I do see a next resistance if we expand out to be around the price of 45 or $42.50. So that is our next immediate resistance. And as for support, I do see the next support being around where we left off back in or past resistance. Since we are above the resistance, it now acts as our support. And I do see eventually the nine day moving average approaching to that same support level. Again, it is around $39.80. So if we expand out the if we were to hit the resistance that is about 3.8% to the upside and to the downside it is roughly around 2.6% to the downside. So let's go over the day by day probability model. So what we have here is we are favoring to the upside as you see there's no indication we will hit any extreme cases to the downside no 7% down nor 4% down there's a slight chance we may encounter a slight dip down 2% on the other hand we do see a higher probability we will see up 2% and even on some extreme cases up 4% so overall Gold Miners Jr. is heading higher in the next coming days, so let's head to the forecast model. What we have here is forecast model for Gold Miners Jr. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to February 6, 2018 to May 3rd, 2018. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the beginning of the trend, we start off slightly below the middle Bollinger Band. And then we proceeded to touch the middle Bollinger Band at this instance or revert back to the mean. And then next we proceeded to break on and touch the upper Bollinger Band at this instance. So let's just mark all the instances where we touch the upper Bollinger Band. So we have one there, the second one near to the end, and one finally right towards the end right here as well. So let's review the trend in question. We start to see a similar pattern here as well. We start off slightly below the middle Bollinger Band, and we proceeded to revert back to the mean to touch the middle Bollinger Band right there. Next, we mark instances where we touch the upper Bollinger Band so one right there and then we have the last two right towards the end as well so we have the second one there and finally one right at the end so we have about three points where we touch the upper Bollinger Band so let's count how many instances we have similar patterns we have one two three four five points we also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe if the trends and patterns are the same, the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So again, the model that we just reviewed, we saw gold miners up around 20 basis points or up 18 basis points. So slightly up 
favoring to the upside. But in this model, we see it not went as much up as indicated in the day by day probability model. We didn't see the extreme cases where we see up 4%. So keep that in mind. So the model that we review was best matched to the current trend. Overlapping it, we have the current trend and overlapping it is the 2018 trend, which finds to be the best match. So again, this trend or this model is now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.